Hi, my name is Megna Vikram and today we'll be looking at the 10 part tutorial on code.org for how to block code of Flappy Bird. So for lesson one it says attach a block to the when click block and then press run. Click or tap the screen to move Flappy to the target. So here we have the when click block as I mentioned up there and we have two blocks to choose from and we add one of these to the when click block um, and when we press run Flappy should move to the target when you click your mouse. So probably flap makes more sense because playing a sound I doubt is going to make flappy move. So when click, flap. And when you press run, when you click, flappy should flap. So now if I click a bunch of times, flappy hits the target. So now lesson two, it says, now that we've added some ground, attach a block to the when hit the ground block. Your code needs to end game when Flappy crashes, which obviously is the point of the game. So now we see that Flappy uh, has the target down here, and supposedly when Flappy hits this target, the game should end. So now out of these three options, only one looks like it ends game. So when Flappy hits the ground, the game should end. So lesson three says the when run block allows you to run code when your game starts. Try setting the level speed and flapping to the target. So when run, meaning when this button is clicked, um, something should happen. So it's telling us to set the level speed. So here we can have the set speed block. And let's see, we have a lot of different options. Let's try very fast. And now let's try very slow. Let's see what the difference is. Oh, so the ground is going much slower. So basically what this is doing is setting the speed different for Flappy's flapping um, whenever run is um, clicked. And this can be changed based off of the programmer. Now, lesson four is, four is saying, Flappy will fly through obstacles unless you write code to make him crash. Attach a block to the when hit an obstacle block. Your code needs to end game when Flappy crashes into the first set of pipes. So when, hits, when hit an obstacle, game ends. Similar to when it hits the ground, except here it's an obstacle. So let's actually play the game. Hit the pipe and the game ends. Now lesson five says let's add a scoreboard and count points when Flappy makes it past obstacles. Add to the when pass an obstacle block and then score a point by flying Flappy through the first set of pipes. So when an obstacle is passed, you should score a point um, and add a score point. Okay. So this should make that zero that we see up top there become a one. Okay, yeah, so I went through these pipes here. So I was able to pass through the pipes just by a millimeter and I got the point. So that's good. Now, here, let's see here. Okay, so now part six, it says, see if you can still score a point after making flappy flap either a smaller or larger amount. So, I'm assuming this is saying like with one little click how much um, flappy flaps. So here let's try and like a very small amount. Let's see what that is. Oh yeah, flappy's barely going anywhere. Oh, what, why is it not stopping? Oh, okay. The end game blocks are not here. But now let's see if we do very large. I click once and flappy's all the way up there. Okay. So basically, all this did was change the amount that Flappy jumps with every click. So now, part 7 is saying, let's try changing the scene by attaching another block to the one run block. So now, instead of just setting this ground speed, when this run button is pressed, they want to set the scene. So right now, I think it's at city day. So let's try, like, ooh, Santa, what does that mean? Oh, okay, so this is Santa. Uh, let's try sci-fi. So basically, 
this lesson seven all it says is you can change the background of the game uh okay part eight you can set visuals anytime not just when the game starts try setting a random scene when other events happen for example when passing an obstacle so when you pass an obstacle it's telling us to change the scene so let's like in here let's make it underwater every single time you pass an obstacle or actually, there's a random option, right? So it'll change every single time, every single time, excuse me, when you pass an obstacle. So... Okay. Oops. Well, that that's embarrassing, but you get the point. You saw it earlier when it changed. So that's what lesson eight wanted. Here, let's go here. Okay. Lesson 9 says, to mix things up, when hitting an obstacle, instead of ending the game, try to set the score back to zero. So when hit the obstacle, what we did before was press end game, but now it's saying it's set score to zero. So let's rack up a couple points. Okay, now when we hit an obstacle, it went back to zero. So now lesson 10. So now it's time to create your own Flappy game. You can change the visuals, all the rules, and even the gravity. So here now we have all of our options, and I'll do an example of Flappy Bird game, and then you guys can knock yourself out by yourself on code.org. So let's see, like, let's do set our speed to normal. Set the player, ooh, there's different, ooh, we can change the bird. I think we should make it a bad guy. Um, when click, flap a normal amount. Um, when you hit the obs, when you hit an obstacle, um, where's set score equals zero? Here it goes. Set score equals zero. When you hit the ground, the game ends. When you pass an obstacle, you score a point. Um, ooh, the obstacles can be different. Let's do laser. That seems cool. A laser obstacle. Um, I think this should be a functional game so far. Let's see. Ooh, bat guy. That's, ooh. Okay, let's see if I can pass through the obstacle. Yeah, I made my score back to zero. Why am I not gaining point? Oh, yeah, I am. What? What is going on? So something was obviously wrong. So when pass an obstacle, score a point. When you hit it off, so I was hitting, I was hitting these the whole time. Really? Okay, let's do small. Now let's try. Let's see. If that's a little less sensitive. Okay, you guys see that one, two? There we go. But if I hit it, zero. Oh, okay, I see what it was. So I touched that apparently. One. Oh, this is actually kind of hard, but the game works. So now. Knock yourselves out on code to work.